Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Intel. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, the 20th of June, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 20th, 2024, our system has ranked Intel as a sell candidate, giving it a score of negative 2.25. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We will continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential negative 28.35% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 43.38% and negative 23.26%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 2.76% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 0.671% and 72.56%. This translates to a price range of $30.83 to $52.84 after a year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for Intel as Stock Downgraded to Sell Candidate. The Intel stock price fell by negative 0.0326% on the last day, Thursday, 20th of June, 2024 from $30.63 to $30.62. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 2.17% from a day low at $30.45 to a day high of $31.11. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days and is down by negative 0.52% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 11 million shares, but on falling prices. This may be an early warning, and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 44 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1,300,000,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $51.28, and the lowest price was $29.73. Currently, the price is 40.28%, or $20.66, below the 52-week high and 55.81%, or $38.67, below the all-time high on the 24th of January, 2020, when the price reached $69.29. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, June 5, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave INTC a neutral grade with a hold action. On Thursday, May 16, 2024, it was reported that William Blair gave INTC a market perform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, May 16, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research gave INTC a cautious grade with an upgrade action. On Thursday, May 16, 2024, it was reported that Wolf Research gave INTC a peer perform grade with an upgrade action. On Monday, May 13, 2024, it was reported that Deutsche Bank gave INTC a hold grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Intel stock a general neutral rating. They rate the P-E ratio as sell and price to book as sell. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a sell rating. The following signals have been identified for Intel. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, May 10, 2024, and so far it has risen 2.58%, 2 
Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MAD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Intel stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $30.69 and $30.75. A breakup above any of these levels will issue buy signals. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 28 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 50 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal four days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal four days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal four days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 58 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 66 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Intel. Intel finds support from accumulated volume at $30.51, and this level may hold a buying opportunity, as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. In general, the stock tends to have very controlled movements, and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved 66 cents between high and low, or 2.17%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.12%. Before we delve into the potential beneficial trading levels for Intel, let's briefly discuss some important fundamental data. Firstly, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This critical ratio evaluates a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. This is a relatively typical PE ratio, often observed in companies with extensive track records or predictable revenues. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q2 2024 is anticipated on the 25th of July, 2024. Analysts' average estimates stand at 10 cents. It's important to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $30.85. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Intel encounters its first support level at $30.51. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On May 30th, 2024, Zinsner David conducted an insider buy of 37,003 shares of common stock. On May 30, 2024, Zinsner David conducted an insider sell of 18,347 shares of common stock. On May 30, 2024, Zinsner David conducted an insider sell of 37,003 shares of restricted stock units. On May 30, 2024, Shell Kristoff conducted an insider sell of 41,712 shares of restricted stock units. On May 30, 2024, Shell Kristoff conducted an insider buy of 41,712 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 18.845. Overall, insiders purchased 653,562 shares and sold 422,865 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock, 
and no stop loss has been set. Is Intel stock a good buy? Intel holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture, we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Friday, June 21st, we expect Intel to open up 10.7 cents and start trading at $30.73. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.